Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disguise 3 Absence of Detention. In the last episode, we took down Superhero Aram, but he revived and said he was going to transform into his final form. Mao entered the Avatar state, but it appears that all of his friends were able to calm him down and make him realize the true superpower of teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In any case, we are going to begin the final thing. Let's go. Now, there are three different endings that could result from this final battle here. The by default, if you defeat the uh, Overlord with a team and Mao is less than level 500 then you will get the normal ending. That is the ending I will be going for. Did I say defeat the Overlord? I meant defeat Aurum. <laughs> Dirt. Oh well. Go! <laughs> Have you said your prayer, superhero? This will be your grave. <laughs> you think you have me cornered? If you haven't noticed the change here, then you are a fool after all! Mao, hold on a sec. It's strange. This feeling is... Oh ho ho! It seems the false hero is smarter. Or is it just that he's a coward? Watch closely. This is my true form. Super! Transform! Yeah! What's happening? It's a monster, I see! Is that the superhero's true form? Oh, how oh, hideous. What a monstrous form. To have let such a thing be in control of the Academy. How horrifying. Hmm. When it comes to inedible ingredients like this, the only thing to do is get rid of it. What part of this is a hero? It's almost like an evil god. Ah. I'm glad you noticed. That's right. These are parts of the enemies I sealed within my body over my adventures. After purifying their evil powers, I wore their blood and flesh to gain more for myself. This body itself tells the stories of my history of battle. So how is it? Don't you think it's dignified and beautiful? Honestly, I'm about to puke. It's hideous! After that talk about being conscious of what the public thought, that image is brutal. No taste for beauty or common sense. I don't think anyone wants to be saved by a thing like you. Um, to be honest, it's lame. Damn you! Being a hero isn't about looks! What's important is power! Strength! No! What's important is the heart, the love it takes to save someone, the courage to stand against an enemy. That's right. The superhero Aurum that we knew is gone from this world. We'll leave the legends as legends. Yeah. Whatever stands in front of us isn't the superhero. It's an evil that endangers both our worlds. Let's do this, everyone! This is the final battle! There's nothing to fear! Believe in me! Yeah! Here we go! Meet the Majin! Warrior with powers beyond man. All stats are high, but... He has... Three move and one throw, evidently. Uh, yeah, 
Plus, Weapon Forte is none, and Aptitudes are 60%. When left as the last unit, stats increase by 100%. Whoa, double S. That's... That's, uh, that's something. Superhero Aurum, level 90. He has... this stuff. I have never seen... I don't know why he would use any of these. Demon Slayer, maybe, but, uh, yeah. That's kind of a thing. Well, you know, whatever. Let's deal with him. Oh yeah, his ability. Void Justice. On odd turns, he is immune to physical attacks. On even turns, he is immune to magic. Let's take care of his underlings first. Let it give him a chance to show off Demon Slayer X. Or just regular Demon Slayer, rather. He's not doing anything. Uh, superhero, are you gonna do a thing? Bow to justice. Not quite the attack I was hoping for there. Attack. This is stupid. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna destroy you because this is not worth my time. Justice! 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 <laughs> Justice! <laughs> that was a thing. by the last one who admired and believed in you. Since then, you completely lost your right to be a hero and turned to evil. Because you were so desperate to stay a hero, you ignored being the hero. What an ironic punishment. Kind of reminds me of Live Alive. Sir Orm, why did this happen? I was tired. This way of life, the task of bringing down strong evils. I wasn't allowed to die. Stronger, 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 demanding to be the strongest. Even if I died, I was forced to come back to life. Oh, how could you die? Did I not even have the right to die? I just wanted to live as a hero and die as a hero. That's why I searched for the Overlord everyone acknowledged as the strongest and sought for a place to die. Sir Orum. But after I defeated the strongest Overlord, an immense sense of emptiness came over me. I no longer had any enemies. I realized there was no way to prove myself a hero. And then, I became extremely afraid that I'd be forgotten by everyone. And that's when you saw the pure evil inside me! Yes, after seeing your hidden powers, I realized I still had a reason to exist. 
how very happy I was. <laughs> Though that ended a dream. <sighs> Why do villains have to rant about their own feelings at the end? Come on. Tolerate me at least for the end. It's a privilege for the defeated. <laughs> Done with your prayers? I have no family, no friends left in this world. I have no one to protect. There is nothing I regret. Ah, no. There's just one thing. Mao, Almaz, I'm sorry the superhero you guys admired had to end like this. Please, forgive me. What? I didn't admire you! You're not that good at hiding it. Goodbye, true heroes. I'm proud to have fought you in the end. And now, I will fall to hell. Mao, finish me off, my little friend. Friend, huh? All right then, it's your final wish. I'll hear you out. Come, prepare! Now, finally. Just kidding. <laughs> Why would I let you die that easily? Did you really think what? this was a normal RPG? You disappoint me, viewers. You thought I would allow a normal ending like that? I will keep you alive. I've decided to keep you as my guinea pig for my evil research. <laughs> Especially with that final form. You're a rare subject. It'll be worth my time to fix you up. Uh, Mal, you sure are, guy. Let's see. Rockets in your knees, missiles for fingers, and two laser beams from your eyes. What? You're okay with an ending like that? Where's your happily ever after? This is his happily ever after! <laughs> Have you forgotten? I'm a demon! Your common sense doesn't work on me! To my lab! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Sure is a thing. I guess they reached an agreement, though it seems Sir Mao is still a little crazy. At least you avenged your dad, Mao. Yeah, now I just need to beat dad and let him rest in peace. Let's head there. I'm coming, dad. Dad? Wh huh? That seems a little strange. He's already passing on, it seems. Does this mean... Indeed. Mao did a splendid job cooking up the superhero. He's gained friends and fully understands his heart. I'm sure the Overlord will rest in peace now. The spell that bound his soul here has disappeared. Boom! I see. So he didn't have a grudge with Mao. I bet he was just worried about you, and that's why he couldn't pass on. Impossible. Dad had to have hated me. I doubt it. I'm sure he's been watching over you even after he died. The whole time. <laughs> Whatever. Just because Dad can't talk doesn't mean you can interpret for him. You've become strong. You've grown up, now. Dad, is that really you? I'm relieved. I can go now. That's a kind voice. See? <laughs> Dad! Maybe we 
should get out of here. <laughs> the rest is for family only. I saw nothing, heard nothing. Dad. I know. You now know. You gained many precious things from many of your friends. You'll be fine. You can do it. I leave the Netherworld and Evil Academy to you. The next Overlord is you, Mao. Dad! Dad, I will become the Overlord. I'll become even greater than you. I'll be the greatest Overlord ever. And that was Disgaea 3. <clears throat> I hope you guys can see now why it is one of my favorite uh, favorites of the Disgaeas. It is just the best story about love, courage, and friendship. <laughs> it's a very wacky main character. You gotta love Mal. I mean, seriously. Anyway, that's all you're going to be hearing from me for a little while. I am going to, uh... Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to sit here and look at the credits, anyway. Or maybe I will. They got some nice artwork here. I was just kind of sitting on a diving board somewhere, looking over the place. It's one of them things. Tenpei Sato, he is an awesome dude. <laughs> Thanks for composing all this great music. It's a thing. Beryl is collecting no donations. <laughs> is that Koter Sensei giving a coin? That's cute. There's Kyoko and Asuka in the background there. Oh no, we have spoiler characters in the in the cast. That ain't good. Champlu is being a badass chef as usual. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> There's Mal fixing up the superhero. That guy has some serious abs. Oh no, more spoiler characters! <laughs> you guys didn't see any of that! King of the Extreme Outlaw, I think that's the, uh, the, the hub world theme. <laughs> there's the cat there's the main cast. Mal looks so annoyed. <laughs> Beryl seems to be the only one who's standing up. <laughs> Just goes to show you how tall everyone else is. She's even wearing her teacher glasses. That is adorable. And that's how my story in the netherworld came to an end. Afterwards, Salvatore the Magnificent soon came to challenge Mao to a serious duel, but it ended in a draw. Master Big Star tried to render a decision, but they both insisted that they won and were quite upset <laughs> with the results. Mr. Champloo cooked a feast so large, no one could finish it. He then disappeared before anyone noticed. I wonder who he was, anyway. He's just the cook. The great superhero Orm was taken prisoner in Mal's room, as dictated. I'm sure he's living a comfortless life. I kinda wonder what sort of experiments he has to undergo. But I'm too scared to ask. <laughs> Mal soon reigns supreme over Evil Academy as Overlord. He seemed kind of proud about being respected by the students who had awakened from their brainwashing. Seeing this, Beryl seemed proud for some reason, too. After seeing Mal take the throne as Overlord, the Princess and I said goodbye to the Netherworld. Upon returning to the human world, we were surprised to find... He's so happy! Look at him! <laughs> Aww, he's so cute! Oh no, I'm not falling for that again, game. Let's go. Peace returned to Evil Academy. Hi, Etna! It only lasted for a fleeting moment before a new terror struck the school! Uh, what? I thought the story ended. 
Overlord Mao, the new dean, began to sexually harass female students. His hand soon reached for Miss Academy. <laughs> wait, wait! Stop making me sound like I'm a pervert! But you kind of... <laughs> Just then, a yo-yo spins out from Miss Academy's hand and lands a critical hit right in the evil dean's crunchies! That's what I call a sting operation. You're... No way! Are you... That's right! What's there to hide? Miss Academy was from Galaxy Patrol, dispatched by the Universe Police! Wow! Give me an autograph! New series, Nether Street Blues, Episode 1, Sailor Suit Beauty, Lady Detective Etna! How dare you stand out and leave me in the dark! I'll kill you all! <laughs> oh, wow! That sounds interesting! How about we take our honeymoon in the Nether World? What? Are you serious? I know this is sudden, but our side story starts here. <laughs> It's been a few months now, right after the wedding banquet with the whole kingdom, we stepped foot once again inside the honeymoon destination picked out by the princess. The Nether Institute Evil Academy, possibly because they're demons or maybe because it had only been a few months, but no one acknowledged our return nor absence, and sure enough, they were mouse slaves. Well, Master Big Star and Salvatore the Magnificent weren't there, but that only seemed natural. I had a really bad feeling. The kind of feeling that tells you your honeymoon's over before it really began and you're gonna end up roaming the netherworld forever. My foresight at times like this is uncannily accurate. And then, as expected, I proved myself right. Welcome to the post game! Not, not there! It's not anywhere! What's wrong, Lord Mal? What are you looking for? That important thing, of course! Damn it, where did it go? How are you supposed to find anything in this mess? You should keep things organized, like I do. You delinquent! It's more convenient to leave things out so you can grab them easier! Uh, Sir Mal, do you have any idea where you saw it last? If I knew that, I wouldn't still be looking for it now! I think I might know where it is! Boom! Master? I thought you disappeared somewhere. I come and go as I please. If you keep worrying about where I am, you'll never cook a good roast. You said you have an idea of where it is, right? So where is it? And how do you know? Why are you asking me? You should go look for it yourself. You don't even know, do you? You just want to look smug for the camera. <laughs> Boss, did you hear about it? There's been quite a few cases of theft on campus lately, I say. Oh? My lunch money was stolen too, boss. Maybe Chiron did it. I think someone hit my shoes or something too, Ero. I don't like the sound of this at all. Why are you so concerned now? People steal things every day at this school, though it still bugs me. And no one does anything about it? Well, I guess this is the netherworld. For all these to happen so often and in such short proximity, it's likely that it's the same culprit. I might find some clues about the suspect who stole that, too. I'd better look into this. Obviously, it's the JRPG hero. You really gonna look into this essay? That's right. It can only be seen as a challenge to me. The Overlord! I'll find the suspect and make him regret ever deciding to lay his hands on that! Uh, but Sir Mal... What is that? You don't need to know. Hmm. That sounds suspicious. I'll be sure to smoke out this criminal. 
in the name of Overlord Mao. <laughs> Okay, post-game. For the sake of whatever, I am just not going to, uh... I'm not gonna do anything. We will get our chance to talk to all these guys once we have finished all the side stories. Speaking of which, there are side stories. Talk to this guy here, the Parallel Whirler, and we get some stuff going on. In the next video, I am going to start Razbarrel version. There's also this guy who lets you start a new game plus. That's how you recruit the uh, DS gentleman that I've been recruiting this whole time. So that is what we are going to do. See y'all next time! Dub 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 dub